Hey guys, wanted to give you a quick update on how things are going to go with this class for Lib 1000 for the rest of the semester. As I hope you are aware by now, all classes at UNC Pembroke have been moved from face-to-face -to, -face to online for the remainder of the semester. That we are doing this to help with social distancing and stop the spread of this coronavirus. So everything from here on out is solely going to be facilitated through Canvas. What does that mean for this class? It means that instead of coming to campus for a face-to-face -face class meeting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm going to be passing all of our lectures via video. So I'm making instructional videos. I'm going to post them to Canvas. Instead of coming to class, you are in charge of watching those videos. Now, many students feel, oh, it's an online class. I can do this whenever. That is true, but I strongly encourage you to maintain the schedule you had before. If you have class at Monday at 125, sit down at your computer at 125 and watch your videos then. It helps you keep that routine. It helps you keep up with tasks and instructions and make sure you're not missing anything. So strongly encourage that. But if you want to watch your video at 2 a.m., as long as you're looking at the instruction, I'm okay with that. However, I also strongly encourage you not to get behind. Just like you don't get a week's worth of lectures in one day, don't watch all your videos in one day. Watch them on the day that they're supposed to be watched. So keep that schedule. Nothing is changing with assignments. All of your assignments were passed to you via Canvas. All of your assignments will be passed the same way you are submitting them via Canvas. So anything going forward with that, all online, not a big change for this class. We are making this up as we go as professors. Many of your professors have never taught online before. This is an entirely new experience. Some of the professors on Canvas have, campus have never even used Canvas. So as we are going to be forgiving of you in this situation, please be forgiving of us and be patient. This is a learning curve. Um, but you do need to let us know what's going on with you. I don't know each of your individual situations. So if you are having trouble accessing computers and internet access to be able to do your classes online, if you're having other issues with your family and taking care of child care or parents, or you're having issues with your jobs and things like that, you really need to reach out and let us know. We can make accommodations. Um, that was the biggest discussion with administration and faculty is how do we help students who signed up for face-to-face -face classes, thought they were taking classes in person and now have to take classes solely online. How do we help those students who might have problems accessing technology and computers and internet? There isn't a unified idea with this. Everything's being accommodated on a case-by-case -case basis. But I will say it again. I don't know your situation. You have to tell me. I can make accommodations. I can help you. We are being lenient. We all want you to succeed and have a successful semester and be able to finish out this term with all of your credit hours intact, but you must tell us. So if you are not submitting work, I'm going to assume you're not submitting it just because you didn't want to do it as opposed to I can't do it because I don't have a computer at home unless you tell me. So ways to get in contact me with me are still the same. Email me at laura.hess at uncp.edu or call my office. I'm in my office a lot Monday through Friday right now. Um, but if I'm not there when you call, do leave me a voicemail. The number is 910-775-4174. I want to help you. I want you to succeed in this class. I want you all to pass with fine colors and learn all the material that you signed up to learn. But keep up, be responsible, keep up with your work. Um, last thing I do kind of have on my list checklist here today is to make sure you're checking your emails. Since we no longer see you in person, the only way we have to get in touch with students is via email. So if you're checking emails, I know y'all get bombarded with things. Prioritize emails from the university, from the chancellor's office, the provost office, your advisors, those sort of people. They're giving you university-wide updates, but also prioritize things coming from your professors. Make sure you're reading those. Make sure you're checking those. I know this is scary and confusing for everyone, but I think we can round out a good semester. So a few updates before I close out this video. Um, I have updated the schedule on Canvas so you know what to expect for the semester. If you go under the syllabus link in the Canvas course, you have the spring 2020 schedule update. And what that is going to give you is kind of the topics we're going to go over each day. So what are we covering? That way you know, okay, what videos am I supposed to be looking at today? Anytime I upload a video, I'm also going to be uploading it with the date that you're supposed to watch it and the topic title. I'll also be 
hopefully uploading multiple videos instead of having one 45 minute long lecture video i'm trying to break things down into like five minute video increments it's easier to watch those that way it's easier to keep people's attention with smaller video increments so we're trying to break things down that way or at least i am so if there are going to be multiple videos through the day i will also put in the title that this is video one out of three so you know how many to look for all of these videos will be uploaded to youtube and so you should be able to access them from anywhere you have internet but three big dates to be aware of for the semester so i have trimmed away the excess for our course calendar as much as i could um, this class is a little bit front loaded in terms of information, but back loaded in terms of assignments. So anything that could go did go. Um, so that is what this schedule is here. But three dates that have not moved are here towards the end of the semester. And that is the date your rough draft of your final project is due, which is April 22nd. By class time on April 22nd, I expect to have a rough draft of your final project. It's really important you get that in on time so I can give you feedback before the final project is due. Next date is this April 27th, this last day to submit revisions or late work. Anything submitted after the 27th, I will not grade. If you are making revisions to project one or two or turning in any of those missing daily kind of assignments, get them in before the 27th. I don't accept things after that. The only thing I accept after the 27th is this final project, which is due Wednesday, May 6th. So keep those dates in mind. We're going to talk about them a lot. Reach out, get in touch with your professors if you have questions. Um, reach out via chat or email or chat to me or give me a call and I'll be happy to chat with you as well. So keep us in mind. Um, Y'all are all great students. I've really enjoyed having you in my class this semester. I fully believe you can all finish the semester successfully. Good luck. Get in touch if you need help.